an absolutely gorgeous morning here on Atlanta's Paradise Island. We're outside Virgil's where, of course, as you can see, it's beautiful outside as we get ready for our first ever draft show of the Don't Blink Home Run Derby featuring, of course, uh, Todd Isaacs Jr. to my left and to my far left, Lucius Fox. And we're going to have a great time this morning getting to decide which teams are going to be playing for who and, of course, who's going to be playing with you guys to decide an overall winner in this year's Home Run Derby. Guys, boy, I tell you, last year, so exciting. This year, we anticipate much the same. We think it's going to be a great time. I'm sure you guys are all excited there as well. Yeah, you know, last year, it was an incredible event. You know, it was our first time doing a Home Run Derby in that nature, doing a Home Run Derby not on a baseball field, but on a beach at Montague Beach. And, you know, for us, the energy was crazy. So this year we wanted to change it up a little bit, and we want everyone to come out and bring that same energy as last year, and we promise we won't disappoint. Tell you what, guys, if you're wondering where we are, we're actually at Virgil's, eh, which is located in Atlantis. And uh, Virgil's is usually one of those barbecue scenes, but we had a great breakfast here this morning. They brought out the, all the works for us, all the South's local breakfast and stuff like that. We had a great time enjoying that this morning as we got ready for our show today. But I tell you what, as we mentioned, it's going to be all about getting you guys all set up for your teams and deciding who's going to be playing with you uh, and deciding who's going to be the top dog at the end of the day because we all know everybody wants to have those bragging rights. Yes, I know. This year we're playing for a call, so, you know, both teams are, will be representing our respective charity and, you know, something that we, we hold there and at our hearts and it's something that is going is gonna to put a little little more emphasis on, what, on why we're doing this this year and give us a little more energy to want to win so you know we're out here lucius and i you know best friends but you know we're going to be enemies on january 5th and you talk about of course the fact that you guys are playing for a cause this year but beyond that you guys also had a mission in mind when you decide to have this tournament uh, rather this derby and, and decide to showcase bahamas baseball we just want to do something for the the bahamian people you know uh a lot of opportunities were presented for track and field athletes to run in front of their people and you know even basketball games but uh, we never had a feel that we can participate, play games, international games, or uh, whatsoever. So me and Todd, we we just came up with this idea, you know, to have a home run derby in which everyone will understand. Everybody knows home runs, and on the beach, it's paradise here in the Bahamas. All the tourists they talk about the the beautiful beaches and weather. So we just wanted to hit home runs into the water. At first, it was a uh, a reach, but we just uh, stuck to what we wanted to do. We uh, told our team, and they made it happen for us. So uh, it's a very exciting event, and I'm glad we pulled it off last year, and we hope to continue to build and build, making an annual thing, and bring more and more people to the beautiful Bahamas. Hey, you know, you guys talked about the fact that it is on the beach, and, and you know everybody understands home run derbies, because mm -hmm. if you've been around baseball, you know what the home run derby is. It's a big thing as far as All-Star Weekend and Major League Baseball. But when you talk about now a home run derby on the beach, that's a whole different category. Right. And I got to say, it gives the guys a bit of uniqueness. And certainly we saw last year, it really got a lot of people interested in doing this and seeing it and observing it because we saw record numbers online as you guys watch the stream online as well. Sure. Yeah, no, uh, thank you to Rev for, for, you know, believing in our vision and seeing it off rip. And, you know, they, they provided us with the opportunity to let us do what we wanted to do the way we wanted to do it. And, you know, last year was a huge success. You know, we had guys come down from the... United States, we have Bo Bichette come down and absolutely put on a show for the Bohemian people. So, you know, he's coming back down this year to defend his crown. I think, I think he's right. he, he's going to have a lot of problems coming his way this year. Yeah, again, I know you guys want revenge, certainly. <laughs> uh, I know you got your eyes set on, on that crown, as does Lucius and all the other guys as well. And, and you mentioned Bo Bichette. He was your defending champion. He'll be, he will be the defending champion after winning it last year. I mean, he put on an absolute show, that, and, and we saw that ball go over the barge time and time again. <laughs> it was crazy because it was windy conditions, but you guys were still able to overcome it. Yeah, we're just praying for a calm day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that way, righties and lefties can have a, a fair playing field, and I trust, trust me, we're going to put on a show. We're not going to disappoint. Uh, the guys we're bringing in this year have serious power along with our behemoth power, and we look forward to January 5th. You know, one of the things that I, that I go back and I look at it and I say, wow, that was crazy. The fact that we had so many young kids out there, that was amazing in this fact. And a lot of parents brought their children out to watch. And, and the way they kind of, I mean, they absolutely loved it. And we saw they, they just, they were having such a great time. We saw them time and time again. We had to actually stop them from going in the water <laughs> after the ball a few times. But, I mean, it was just an amazing show. Yeah, you know, the, the inspiring the kids is what we want to do, you know, is the kids are the future. They're the future here in the Bahamas, especially here in baseball. So. You know, for something for us to be able to do something like this to inspire kids to want to be like us, you know, it's something that we, we didn't really have growing up with baseball here in the Bahamas. So for us to create um, 
uh, opportunity for kids to come out and just have, have good, clean fun and be around guys that they look look up to and guys that they can relate to, you know, it, it gives them the extra push to get to where we are to, in one day. As we get ready to wrap up this first segment, you guys have a new format this time around. A little bit different than we did last year. We'll talk a little bit more about that and all the other stuff surrounding this year's Don't Play Home Run Derby. That's coming up right after this. Look at you all. Look at the Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. Oh, why can't this internet work any faster? I hear that. So, what are your thoughts? Can we get some 2018 phone service in here? I hear that. <coughs> Shouldn't this come with my cable? I hear that. Finally, a company that hears you and actually listens. Introducing the new Rev Triple Play with free HBO Go, 200% faster internet, and unlimited calling everywhere you go. Sign up for only $99 and enter to win over $50,000 in cash and prizes. Rev, you and us together. At Ori J. Sands Insurance Brokers and Agents, our motto says it all. Professional service with a personal touch. We have been providing protection for our clients' homes, businesses, private and commercial motor vehicles since 1985. We also provide contractors insurance to protect your investment even before it is fully realized. We are located on 300 East Shirley Street, next door to Ebenezer Methodist Church. Give us a call at 393-4300 for a quote today. Global Sun Integration Management, the Caribbean leading IT project management and engineering consultancy firm with industry leading best practices, data center management. Global Sun Integration Management also offers installation and maintenance of routers, switchers, and firewalls. Located Sandy Port, North Buckner Square, Suite Number One, Telephone 603 4746. No such thing as unsolvable problems, only solutions not thought of yet. Global Sun Integration Management. And welcome back here to Paradise Island. We're at Virgil's, guys, as we get ready for the first ever live draft show for the second annual Don't Blink Home Run Derby. I'm here with Lucius Fox and Todd Isaacs, Jr. As we get ready to continue our morning here, and guys, it's been fantastic here. Guys, if you haven't been to Virgil's yet, you need to check it out. First of all, it's football season. I know we're going to talk baseball and home run derby, but it's football season. Every Sunday during football season, you guys can come down here and check it out. It's from uh, 10 o'clock until, actually, it's at 1.30 until... 10 o'clock at night is when they have all the football stuff going on. You can come down and enjoy some of the great food and drinks and everything else that they have here at Virgil's. But like we said, it's a great scene here. We're on the veranda, and as you can see, it's an absolutely great backdrop. Beautiful scenery. More, what more could you possibly ask for if you want to watch football? Of course, we're here for our live draft show. You can see the great scenery there as well. But guys, as we get ready to continue our morning segment here, and they get ready for actually talking about what you guys are going to have coming up as far as the format is concerned. We've got our great sponsors like Alive who've been able to come on board, Rev who's been behind you guys as well. Talk about how that relationship has developed and, and what it means to you guys in order to make this successful. You know, um, Rev has been with us from the beginning. Um, back in our days, going through the leagues at Freedom Farm, you know, uh, Rev was always out there streaming our games live on TV, so it gave us our first taste of what it was playing in front of cameras. So, you know, now that we're in pro ball, it was second nature. It was something that we didn't even have to worry about. And, you know, now with this home run derby, you know, they're right back with us, um, sticking with us through the end, and they're supporting us in any way possible, and they're helping us, you know, better baseball in the Bahamas and showing the world what talent we have down here in the Bahamas when it comes to baseball. Let's talk about that new format. This year, you guys are going to have teams. Mm -hmm. You didn't have that last year, but this year you're going to split into teams. How does that idea come about, and, and what are you guys anticipating that, in that regard? Uh, the, the growing number of participants in the Derby, you know, uh, after the first annual, we got a lot of calls and, you know, messages from international guests just wanting to come down to the Bahamas and participate. So uh, we invited way more than we had last year. Yeah. And to do that, we needed to come up with a new format. So we, we came up with the team format in which I would pick my team and Thor would pick his team and we would compete, you know, see which team hits the most home runs. Uh, and we will compete for a cause. You know, he, he will represent a certain charity and I will 
So it's a great, it's, I think you did a great job. Yeah, you know, the idea of, of competing for charity certainly has a, a different, different dimension to it. And it certainly gives you a little something extra to play for. Not that you need it because, you know, <laughs> that rivalry is there anyway. You know, this is just another aspect of competing. You know, we play in a professional sport where competing is what you have to eat and breathe every day. So for us to recreate the feeling and an environment where we could include a lot more players, especially Bahamian players and international players to compete for a cause, you know, it's something that we, we, we're excited about, you know, the, cause, the causes that we're competing for are something that we hold down at our heart, Sister Sister Society and the Cancer Society of the Bahamas, so, you know, it's just something where, you know, a lot of our players, a lot of the boys here in the Bahamas lost family members too, you know, I lost my grandparents to cancer, so it's something that we wanted to, wanted to do and, and I'm happy and looking forward to competing with my team against Lucia's team and hopefully my team wins and, and we can, uh, you know, support the, the charity that, that we choose. All right, that being said, let's get this over with. Let's find out who you guys are going to be playing for your charities. Let's uh, reach into our handy dandy bag here and, and pull out a name and, and let's see who you're going to be playing for. Let's see. I have the Sister Sister Breast Cancer Group. Awesome, awesome. I will be representing the Cancer Society of the Bahamas. I will be sure to, uh, <laughs> to win this competition for you guys. <laughs> See, Josh you. Calkins already started. So Team Lucia is playing for the Cancer Society of the Bahamas, and uh, Team Isaacs is now it's playing for the Sister Sister. sister. Yeah. So uh, that already gives you a little bit of an added yeah. dimension. You guys are all set up now. You know who you're playing for. You know which cause you're representing. And, and as we get ready to move forward now, as you get ready to select your teams, we now know you, you got a little extra yeah. added kind of dimension to yeah. seeing exactly what's going to happen here. Yes, sir. And, you know, after the team round is done, you know, we'll segue into the individual round. So how the team round is going to work is every hitter will have either two minutes or 15 swings to hit as many home runs as they can. And the amount of home runs you hit will, will go both for a team tally, a team count, and also your seed in for the following round. So after the team round is done, we'll choose the top four hitters from each team that will compete head to head to find out who will be our individual champion. All right, great. Well, guys, we have a couple of pieces we're going to let you see right now in regards to our major causes, uh, both Sister Sister and the Cancer Society of the Bahamas. Let's take a look right now and see exactly what they both have in store. We are a registered nonprofit foundation located in Centerville, in the heart of Nassau. But we have 12 family island branches, so we rarely cover the entire Bahamas. Over the past 40 years, we've achieved a great deal. Our greatest achievement has been building the Cancer Caring Center, which is a home away from home for cancer patients who come to Nassau for their radiation and chemotherapy treatments and sometimes surgery. We want to take care of the whole person, and this is how we we feel we can do it, we're making them very comfortable, but we need more rooms for family island patients. We need a daycare center where Nassau-based people can come. One of our main objectives is to add hospice care to our cancer caring center. Another of the services that we provide is by going to the family islands with doctors who volunteer their time and giving free pap smear exams, breast exam, and PSA examinations. This is a very important service in the islands, and it has made all the people there so much more aware of their health and taking care of themselves. And they all know now that early detection is the best protection. Sister Sister, a nonprofit organization formed in September of 2000. As someone who's recently diagnosed with breast cancer, you may feel very overwhelmed with the diagnosis and the task of having to learn so much about breast cancer treatment. By meeting other women who are a few steps ahead of you in their care plan, you may feel relieved to hear someone else expressing the same thoughts that you're expressing. By listening to other group members as a new participant, you may often feel more in control and more able to develop coping strategies to help you with your own situation. The women who come to our groups tell us that the groups provide them with a sense of community and help them develop a feeling of empowerment about their own situation. They share tips on dealing with hair loss, fatigue, and hot flashes. 
and feel that the group is a safe place to talk about issues such as body image, relationships, and their own fears. We laugh and sometimes we cry together. It's always amazing for me to see the bonds that are forged through these groups, and especially to see how women who are in the midst of treatment reach out to someone else. Helping women with the pot cap it's an instrument that is surgically implanted for chemotherapy administration. We are able to assist women with different medications. These women can't afford them. I'm sure everybody's now all excited. Extra dimension again, as you mentioned, as far as playing for a cause this time around. Um, you know, you got your pool of players that's going to be coming up. Uh, talk about how you guys are going to do this. I mean, you got, you got your pool, you're going to, go, I guess, do a selection mm -hmm. process. And um, how is that concept? Um, it's just like a normal draft, a normal draft for any professional sport or anything. So, you know, we have a group of players, Bahamians and international players, that we'll choose from. You know, um, I got my younger brother here on the side of me, so I, l I let him get the first pick, yeah. you know. Like, so, so it's a fair chance, so he has a fair chance of yeah. winning, so we, we'll do that and, you know, just picking from the, the, the name of players and just trying to strategize to have the best team to compete that day. Yeah. All right, so I guess we'll find out in short order. Guys, we have coming up right after this, the draft. We'll see who goes where and who's going to be with whom as we get ready for the first ever live draft selection right here at Virgil's on the Friday side. This is where life expresses itself as an endless flow of energy. Are you ready? Atlantis, Bahamas at heart. From the very beginning, it was always our singular focus to do whatever it takes, use every possible resource to fight cancer and never lose sight of the patients we're fighting for. Our cancer treatment specialists share the same vision. Experts from all over the world working closely together to deliver truly personalized cancer care. And these are the specialists we're proud to call our own. Expert medicine works here. Learn more at cancercenter.com. Appointments available now. So welcome back, as we said, once again to beautiful Atlantis as we are outside of Virgil's getting ready to continue with the first ever Alive Believe in Best draft as we get ready for the Don't Blink Home Run Derby and, and we've already had our selection of, uh, of our causes which is going to be the Breast Cancer Society of the Bahamas, the Cancer Society of the Bahamas, sorry, and also we also have Sister Sister. So those are our two causes we've been playing for this year and we'll get into that in just a few seconds but as we know the the actual home run derby is going to take place on january 5th yeah. of 2019 which is just around the corner mm -hmm. really and uh, you guys will be on monarchy for sure as we did last year and it looks as if it's going to be you know another great occasion you know it's, we'll be in the same location um we start a little bit earlier this year so i encourage everyone to be out there at 12 to get autographs from all the players and we will start shortly after with our first hitter and it'll be a great day you know Bring the energy, pack the beach, and let's just have some fun. That being said, we're going to bring in our representatives coming in from the Sister Sister and, of course, from uh, Kent Society of the Bahamas. Uh, Lucius, you got the Kent Society of the Bahamas, mm -hmm. so let's bring your representative in. I think you got Gina, am I right? I'm going to welcome Miss Gina Roll. All right, so Gina Roll coming in right now, and she's the representative. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let you know. Yeah. All right. Hey. Like confidence. Confidence is always yeah. good. So yeah. now we have uh, Todd. We're going to have Miss Sweeting, am I right? Yeah, Miss Sweeting from the Sister Sister Society. Yes, ma'am. Every yes, time I see her, she looks younger and younger, right? Hey. <laughs> we got this. You know, the only <laughs> thing is, she's, she's uh, such a you lovely lady. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to hate to beat her, is that right? <laughs> I'm going to hate to beat her, but I'm, I'm going to win hey. this. I'm going to win this. Hey, talk is cheap, man. Talk is cheap. Yeah, well, I guess we'll all find out. Beat us down January 5th. That's January, all. That's, January that's, 5th. When it, that's when it's all going to matter, right? All this talk is really hate, right? But it's always good to have a little trash talk and go with it. So, so as we said, now you have your representatives in place. We're going to get ready for the draft process. We're going to have Lucius pick first, which means that Gina's all excited. Yeah, we got first pick. Yeah, the, first, so. the first one of many. <laughs> first on the winning team, all right? I'm sure, I'm sure Todd has a little bit of a different idea. 
Todd, you said you gave him first pick because you didn't want him to feel like you're going to blow him away. Yeah, exactly. You wanted him to have a fair chance. Yeah, so yeah. It's a fair chance. It's all about giving him a fair chance. But, but the real work will be done on January 5th. All right, great stuff. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's get this started. Uh, you're going to have Lucius. Uh, you're going to make your first pick. Mm -hmm. So let's get rolling and see exactly who you're going to go with. Yes. Uh, who is your first I'm pick coming confident. off the board? Uh, you know, my first pick would be Boba Shed of the uh, Oh, so you're going to go for the, the winning uh, champion? The defending champion, he will be here. He will be at the defender's crown, and I have great confidence in him. Uh, I, I would imagine so, seeing that he won this thing last year. That's, that's a great... That I kind have of great a, confidence kind of a, in Boba Shed, and I, I feel confident in making him the first pick of this draft. All right, so <laughs> Boba Shed is off the board. Our defending champion now joins Team uh, Team Fox. Yes. All right, good stuff. All right, so Todd, who are you going to go with? Well, you know, it was in... This guy right here, you know, is someone that I believe will put us over the, over the edge. You know, with my first pick, I'm going with no other than Will Benson of the Cleveland Indians. You know, he hit 22 home runs this year, so he'll be out there to put on a show. Now, now Will, this is his first time, am I right? Yeah, he wasn't is, here last year. No, it's his first time. First time being in the Bahamas, and I'm sure he's going to put on a show. All right, good stuff. My teammate, Josh Lowe of the Tampa Bay Rays. My second pick would be Nate Lowe of the Tampa Bay Rays. Brother versus brother. Wow. Hey, like that. <laughs> and Bahamian power. Ah. Always young, a good pick. Yeah, the young Christian Robinson. Ah, yeah. yes. Christian Robinson, who actually almost knocked off Bo Pichette last year. Yeah, I'm going with a lefty heavy team. My third pick would be Nolan Jones of the Cleveland Indians. The big batter of the Bahamas, lefty hitter, 28 home runs this year. Jazzerado Chisholm. <laughs> Mr. Talk it up, man. Jazz Chisholm uh, goes at number four. I'm trying to get a theme here. A lot of lefties yeah. in this thing. Yeah, it's, it's all strategy, yeah. you know, I'm just going based off previous year, yeah. like how the weather was last year, and right. just won the best opportunity for my team to win, so my fourth pick will be Shad Long from the Cincinnati Reds. Monte Harrison of the Miami Marlins. Jonathan India of the Cincinnati Reds. Lewis Brinson of the Miami Marlins. Chavez Young, a.k.a. Hollywood from the Toronto Blue Jays. <laughs> I'm going to pick Rashad Monroe. <laughs> and I find it back from the, yeah, the winning team from the Cincinnati Reds. My seventh pick is Nick Gordon of the Minnesota Twins. I have Tyler Frank. My eighth pick, I'm going with uh, Trent DeVoe of the Trent Anaheim DeVoe. Angels. Yeah, yeah. I'll select Larry Alcimay. Courtney Smith at the Texas Rangers. This is a young man that had a tremendous year this year. You know, he showed some power in his first year. His name is Deshaun Knowles. He's a switch hitter. Um, and there's no other than Anthony Seymour of the Miami Marlins. I'm going with Champ Stewart. He's a speedster, but he can get the ball out. And with that pick, Lucius went with the eldest Bahamian professional baseball player. I'm about to go with the youngest one right now, and that's with Keytron Moss with the Texas Rangers. Moss. You know, he gave Lucius a run for his money last year. That's right, you know, he real. Lucius, he had, had Lucius running a bit. <laughs> Lucius looking at me like, I don't remember that part. So guys, we're moving all the way, I think, at number 12 already. Wow, it's amazing how fast we've gone through this. But at number 12 now, uh, Lucius, who are you going to go with? This guy, he surprised me last year, I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. Dominique Colley. Number 12 now for Team Isaacs. Who, uh, with number 12, he hasn't started his first professional season yet, but he's the twin brother, Deshaun. You know, my 12th pick, I'm going with Devon Knowles or the New York Yankees. All right, so, so Devon Knowles comes off. So you've got, you guys got a really split the brothers yeah, up here. So this yes, is going to be sir. brother against brother a couple of times yeah. in this matchup. Coming off the board of the number uh, 15 will be? Newly signed out of the Bahamas. I had a chance to work with him last off season. Great swing on the young man, uh, Warren Sanders. And, and that brings Todd to number 13 as well. With my number 13 pick, I'm um, going with a player. This guy is from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I play with him in the Indians organization. There's no other than Alexis Pantoa. So one more name on the board. <laughs> one more name on the board. He can have it. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna, you're, you feel your team's strong enough. You don't even need anybody sorry else. From, add another one to his. <laughs> All right, so, so Todd, he's going to give so, you that last pick. Yeah, I just, I just take it, so... With the last pick, <laughs> with the last pick that will part our lead, that we, we beat them by 15, 15 home runs, I'm yeah. picking Orveo Saint. And when that happens, I don't want him to come and say, oh, yeah. you yeah. had another we'll extra player. Right, right. No, it's none of that. All none right, of so that. Cool. It's fair and square, we're going to win for the Sister Sister Society. It's going to be a great day. All right, so the teams have been set. You got a good look at them on the board there. You come right, right, 1 to 14 for Team Isaac, 1 to 13 for, for Team Fox. <laughs> We're yeah. going to win that for, for Miss Gina Roll and the Kansas Society. There you go. <laughs> we'll see. Don't worry about it. He, he's done a lot of talking, so we got it. I just hope he backs it up because I know what we're about to do. So the teams are on the board, and, and we're all set as far as Team Fox, Team Lucius, and, and Team Isaacs. We're all ready to go there. And uh, we've got to thank well, uh, our representatives from our different organizations uh, from the 
got our catch aside to the Bahamas. We got Gina, and of course from sister sister we got Miss uh, Miss Sweeting here. So you guys, uh, I guess you got to stay tight. Yeah, no, thank you so much. You know, bringing this by. I want to thank the beautiful Gina. You know, we got this. We got this. We got this. You know, we take it. You know, we take it. Let's get all that trash talking out of the way. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see what happens come January 5th. Meanwhile, let's take a moment. We'll come right back. We'll wrap this thing up in just a few moments. She's always saying I need to compromise more. <laughs> well, the best thing about 700 Advantage is there's no need for compromise. I'm happy, she's happy, and party done. When you spend over $10, you earn 5% cash back on your next purchase. It's easy to enroll. Visit our stores nationwide and enroll today. It's a celebration across the nation. 700 points and spirits. Caribbean Paradise, powered by Rev, is here again. The weekend kicks off Friday, January 4th with the Kids Camp at Atlantis. The kids will have an opportunity to learn from all the MLB players, past and present. Also with all the top MLB prospects that are participating in the Home Run Derby. Then January 5th at Montague from 12 noon. Come out and watch the big bats. Try to hit the most home runs for the Home Run Crown. Who will it be this year? One of your favorite MLB team members? So come out for a fun-filled day of baseball, food, and entertainment at Montague. This January 5th, 2019 from 12 noon. The Don't Blink Home Run Derby in Paradise, sponsored by Atlantis, Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, Power Aid, Heritage Seafood, Bahamas Air, Quality Home Center, ICS Security Concepts, Global Sun Integration Management, AAA Marine, Alive, Believe in Best, Bahamas Waste, Family Medicine Center, REJ Sands Company Limited, Direct Air Cargo, JBR Building Supplies Limited, The Cancer Treatment Centers of America, Bahamas Experience, Paragon Sports, MVP Sports, Pop-Up Physios, Ivar L Media, Tops Lumber and Plumbing Supplies Limited, TCBY, The Country's Best Yogurt, and Powered by Rev. I am one of the uh, young professional golfers here in the country and I have a passion for growing the game through golf, through my 14 Clubs Golf Academy. Uh, I started playing golf at the age of six, uh, just kind of a lucky thing. Uh, one of my uh, mom's friends back then played golf and it was a great way for us to get out on a Saturday morning. Uh, when I moved home in 2014, uh, I guess, well, coming from the U.S., uh, I was so accustomed to being on my phone, uh, you know, 24-7. And so when the uh, unlimited package, uh, uh, I guess, well, was introduced with a live, um, I was crazy excited. Um, for, for me, with chatting with all of the uh, parents and the students and such like that, um, uh, my phone is my life. And so uh, being free uh, to be out here on the golf course, use my data, and not have any worries, um, uh, it, it feels like I'm back in the U.S. again. Um, uh, so it's awesome, awesome service. All right, welcome back here to Virgil's as we are continuing with our live draft process. And uh, well, actually, the draft process is complete. We have our team selected. Both uh, guys have their teams on the board, their players, and we'll see exactly how it turns out. The trash talking is already begun. <laughs> We're all set up. But uh, I, I got to ask you guys, was it a little bit of a strategy? Uh, I know you went with, with a lot of lefties yeah. because, you know, you remember the conditions last year and, and that kind of played into your decision making. Lucius said he wanted more of a balanced team. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but all in all, both teams look pretty strong, although Lucius says, you know, he wants to kind of give you another whack at it because he doesn't look, he says it's not going to be fun. <laughs> right. You know, the reason why I pick a lot of lefties is because of... Uh, uh, the wing conditions last year, yeah. you know, but I, I'm, I have all the confidence in the world that my guys can hit home to all fields. Right. You know, I just pick lefties at the top of my uh, draft board because I feel that those those guys will give us the best chance to win early on. They'll set the pace, set the tune, and put us over the edge to, to win this all for the sister-sister society. I just want to take the best hitters on the board. You know, uh, like I said, I did my scouting. Yes. And I got my reports back. Have guys out there. I had my guys out there doing their research <laughs> since uh, April. <coughs> and they came back with uh, the numbers I wanted to hear. And yeah. those are the guys I selected. Right. I, I can imagine. So, well, well, now that we have that all set up, and, and uh, again, you guys mentioned the fact that uh, going into this, if people want to get more information on, mm -hmm. on, on what's mm -hmm. going to be happening, you guys have uh, websites available. There's, there's Instagram pages. Uh, for those that maybe want to check it out prior to, get those right. addresses again. Uh, on Instagram, you can see all the updates on DBHR Derby. 
and for our pictures and videos you can go to i am underscore ivar he deals with all our photography about the home run derby uh don't blink if you want to represent <laughs> i saw some nice little uh stuff for the, what's that new stuff they put on there on the yeah, yeah. yeah we have those for for people that are going to be out to the home run derby as well you know that's the thing right now and yeah, everybody wants one, one. Back of so you're going to get a, a pop socket that has the the badge for the home run derby make sure you check this out january 5th it's going to be an amazing process but prior to that uh, before we get to the actual home run derby, you guys are going to have a little bit of a clinic going on. Yeah. We got some young kids getting a chance to actually work out with you guys mm -hmm. and maybe pick up some points. Yeah, that's that. The kids camp is actually happening here at Adonis on January 4th. The registration starting at 8 a.m. and the camp will begin at 9 a.m. and last until 1. Um, you know, we, we want all the kids to come out. The ages is between 6 and 12, if I'm not mistaken. You know, but more details will be about the camp within the coming weeks, within the coming days. And, you know, we just, want, we just want as much kids to come out from all the leagues, you know, to come out and spend a few hours with us and, and, and learn some, some great knowledge from all the guys that will be coming in town. This is really taken off. It's really, it's really caught on. I love the idea. I've heard a lot of buzz about it. And from last year, we saw certainly where, where people have bought into it. So I'd imagine this year would be even bigger and better. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's all about continuing the growth of baseball here in the Bahamas and continuing to put the Bahamas on the map in the, in the baseball world. You know, we have a lot of guys here in the Bahamas, a lot of professionals that are amongst the top ranked prospects in their respective organizations. So, you know, for us, it's just creating awareness of what's going on here in the Bahamas because people still today they ask us where we're from and when we say the Bahamas they're shocked because of the talent that we possess right. so you know for us it's just to continue to to help baseball here in the Bahamas grow and continue to to bring back home you know a lot of excitement a lot of energy for the kids and for just sports fans in general so you know we're looking forward to a great day on January 5th and you know we're going to put on a show to where everyone's going to have a great time no uh, matter which team wins it's going to be an amazing time and we certainly want to remember that uh, none of this is possible without great sponsorship exactly you know thank you to rev for being our title sponsor thank you to atlantis for having us today thank you for the tourism for you know investing in the future baseball here in the bahamas and thank you to all our sponsors that that have been there from day one all right great stuff virgils appreciate you guys as well put out a great breakfast bread we had a good time with that uh, I, I had a couple of bowls of sauce and all that so i really got going but uh gotta thank virgils gotta thank atlantis gotta thank rev as we mentioned and uh alive and all the other sponsors come on board to make this thing possible we like to see you guys on january 5th because that's when it's all going to happen don't forget the clinic on january 4th yep. january 5th the home run derby yep. right there on monarchy bay for sure both teams have been selected uh we'll see which one comes out at the end of the day it's all going to happen on Monarchy. Hope you guys come on out and support it. Please do. Uh, if not, you'll be able to watch the live stream. It's going to be available to you on live stream on Rev and uh, on Facebook and all the other stuff as it was last year. But believe me, nothing like the actual live experience because it's, it's just nothing like being there and then being experienced it for yourself. Don't hear about it. Live it. And of course, go on and tell your friends about it so they can come out for it next year. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for taking time this morning. Again, we're going to look forward to seeing who's going to come out on top at the end of the day. Yes, Will it be it. Team Isaacs? Will it be Team Fox? We'll find out. We'll wrap things up for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you again on the 5th of January. That's when we're going to be right there on Monaco. So make sure and be there. Or as they say in the old days, be square. <laughs> be square. See you again next time.